Hi, welcome back to Raunchy Reality Recaps. On this video, we're going to talk about Jessica Kent, the YouTuber. Now, and there's been a lot going on, and I kind of like strayed from that whole topic because it got wild. Now, the last time I talked about her, wasn't really talking about her. It was more talking about what um, Backwoods Barbie kind of was generalizing when Jessica Kent was able to film her ex yelling at her on the phone. So I had a I had a bone to pick with Barbie. Not really Jessica Kent. But after I saw this last night and I kind of delved into a little bit more, I, I kind of want to react to this. So let's get into this. Constantly telling me things like you're losing followers and you don't care. You're so dense. That's not my priority. You know, if you want to follow me, cool. If you don't, cool. I so the comments that I'm getting all day, every day, day in and day out. My kids are not in danger. The violence that Burner talks about. One of them, one of the worst ones specifically, was almost 10 years ago. He was only violent in prison towards men out of necessity for survival. If you don't understand why you had to beat someone up, they called him a bitch. Then I don't, I don't know how to explain that to you. Constantly telling me. Okay, so number one, um, prison or not, somebody calling you a biatch is not a life or death situation. So having to protect yourself from somebody calling you a biatch is like, it's not a necessity, girl. It's not a necessity. People call people biatches all the time, okay? And if it even, <laughs> you're trying to say it, you don't know because you're not in prison. It's a, it, you know, it, it's what you do in prison. No, it's not what everybody does. And actually one of her commenters said that she had a family member in prison. And you know what? He kept his head down doing what he was told so he can get out, you know? So therefore, not everybody is that way. Your man has a capacity of violence. Now, whether it was in prison, whether it was towards a man, whatever. Maybe he hasn't done it on the outside. Maybe he hasn't done it towards women. But he still has that capacity. You know what I mean? Okay, girl. And another thing, if, you know, if this is so common for prison, for prisoners to do this, then why do they get in trouble for it? Why do they have, why do they get in trouble for bad behavior? And why do they let people out early for good behavior? You know what I mean? They, because people all have the free will, even if in prison to make the choices that they do. Your man made a choice to stab somebody over somebody calling the B word. And plenty of other people that went to prison themselves and other people out in the free world have been called on a word like that and straight up didn't go stab them. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Let, let's not, let's not act like he's not a violent person. Girl, he's a violent person. Okay. Let's just admit it. Okay. You don't want to say that because you don't want to admit you brought somebody like that around your kids. Okay. So yeah, let's keep going. And it's like, you're losing followers and you don't care. You're so dense. That's not my priority. You know, if you want to follow me, cool. If you don't, cool. I can't, like, stress over something I have no control over. On my list of priorities, how many people follow me? It's at the way bottom. It's not even on the list. What's on that list is making sure my kids are well taken care of, driving them to school and their activities, and making sure they have everything that they need. My oldest needs braces very soon, making sure we're all caught up on homework. Family court's on the top of that list. And some okay, yeah, that's great that your followers are not on your priority and all that other kids stuff is good. We want to see your kids on your priority. But one of those top things that you have on your priority is man. Like, let's be honest, girl. Like, this was just this time last year, or like, I don't know, maybe like November last year, you were leaving their dad, and then you got together with somebody else, married him, uh, supposedly, and now you're with another man. So, obviously, it's, <laughs> keeping a man is one of your top priorities as well, let's, let's admit it, because if you were putting your kids first, you wouldn't have had two other men in the last year in your house around your kids if they were your top priority okay let's be real if you were going out of your way to send my ex drama channels reddit posts the comments and all this shit to try to help him take my kids from me do you know what post-separation abuse looks like because it's this it is psychological and emotional abuse to constantly threaten the mother of your kids to constantly make her think that she is going to lose her kids who you haven't been actively involved in in like two years on a consistent basis right it's hard enough for my girls and i to heal from the damage she caused if there is no reason on earth I've always been uh earth that all of these people should be saying these things right now. You see five percent of my life. You've never stepped foot inside of my home. You do not know me. You do not know my girls. It is extremely traumatic to remove children from a good home. I'm allowed to date someone. I am completely Okay. Um so let's get into that. First off, is is your ex your kid's dad or your kid dad is he asking for any of this stuff? 
is he the one going out of his way asking people because I mean I don't know that yet he might be but as far as the ones like the drama channels making things or people sending them to stuff to him if he's not asking them to do that then he has no control over it just like you say you have no control over stuff either and first of all if my kid's dad okay let's just say a scenario off of YouTube okay if my kid's dad Okay, if me and him broke up and why the kids were in his care, if he had custody and he had um, a boyfriend or I'm sorry, girlfriend after girlfriend living in his house um, that had violent records and everything, I, I would want to know and let's say a neighbor saw it and sent me a message and everything would you get mad at that neighbor for letting me know that my kids are in the care of somebody that has random people in their house with bad records and everything no you wouldn't think that because you'd be like good good for that neighbor so it's just kind of like that and if guess what if you weren't putting this on the internet for everybody else to see if you're making other content than content about your life and about your kids and your in your man and stuff, your beautiful man, then people wouldn't have anything to send to him. So therefore, you are letting this happen. You are you are in control of this right now. Stop posting this stuff. If you don't want people to judge you, then don't post it. But when you see somebody that has I mean, sorry, I don't think women that are moms that let men that they're dating around their kids especially ones that let them live in the house I mean you're sleeping at some point especially women like that within months or even less than a year I I, I just don't think it's good I, I think it's wrong and if I have that opinion I'm going to share it and if you put it up there on the internet for everybody to see want to show off your new boyfriend with your kids then yeah people are going to have opinions about it if you don't want people to have opinions then don't put it out there honey four months ago you made a video about jason getting taken into custody here you are four months later with a new man who you've probably been posting for the last month so please tell me where the good decision is in that and whether i don't know the whole situation with her ex i think reese i don't know all the situation with that i really don't know and we don't know what he's doing behind scenes to get custody of his kids. So we don't know why he might not be visiting or whatever. What is she? We don't really know the truth of that. But whether or not the kid's dad is good, is seeing his kids, is doing, is on the up and up, it doesn't matter. Because you're still making those choices. Even if he was come and see the kids and the kids' life and everything, you would still be making those choices that bring men into your home like that. Violent men. Men would pass. Because that's what you do. There, it'd still be an issue whether Reese was in the kid's life or not. It'd still be an issue. That's what you're doing. Not what Reese is doing that people ever have a problem with. Like, well, yeah, it kind of... I mean, I don't know everything about the whole situation, but yeah, he got, he got some problems too. But still, even if Reese was all good or not, you're still doing wrong, girl. You're still not doing good. You're still making bad decisions. Be capable of being in a relationship and also taking care of my children properly. Everyone wants to talk about Jason. Yeah, you can be in a relationship, girl, but you're, <laughs> dude, go on a date with him, okay? Get out the house away from your kids. There's no reason for you to keep on bringing these men around the kid. You are dating him, not your kids. He does not need to be around your kids when he literally, like, you had another man around him four months ago. Like, come on. Did you know, like, it's 20 times more likely for a child to get SA'd by a man when their mom is living with a man that is not the biological father and they're not married. So, what's going on here? Like, do you not, um, you don't have to, it's not, nobody's telling you not to date the man. Okay? Maybe some people are. Because really, girl, you need to make better decisions. But it's more effective you have these men, these men around your kids. There's no reason for them. Girl, you are, is it like, how much money you have and you can't afford a babysitter? Like, get a babysitter. Go on a date, get a babysitter. There's no reason for that. 
If you don't want people to sit there and make opinions on your life, then don't put it out there for everybody to make opinions on.